Hey, what is up everyone? My name is Catherine and today we are going to be doing a tasting of Brothers Bond Bourbon. If you're watching my channel, you probably already know that this is Paul Wesley and Ian Summerhalder's bourbon that they just launched this year. And then because I know next to nothing about bourbon and the tasting portion of this might be a little useless, we're gonna make a fun little cocktail after that. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here, you should absolutely subscribe and come hang out with me all summer long and let's jump right into it. So like I said, I don't know very much about bourbon. While I did grow up about two hours north of the Kentucky Bourbon Trail in Cincinnati, Ohio, I didn't turn 21 until very shortly before COVID started and I have not had the chance to actually go there yet, though it is very much on my bucket list. So I've done a little bit of research on how to taste bourbon, but I don't really know what I'm talking about. I know you're supposed to have this like glass that's shaped like this at the top, I don't have one of those. The closest thing that I have is this like little salsa jar and I elected to not use that. I am just using a normal little crystal, I guess this is a tumbler glass. It's very sparkly, it's very cute. Um, as you can see, I've already been enjoying this very much. I've used this in a lot of cocktails so far this summer. I just have yet to actually drink it straight. Though if I am drinking liquor straight, bourbon is my liquor of choice. The only other bourbons I've ever tried are Maker's Mark and Woodford Reserve and I'm sure I've tried I think I've tried like four roses or something and some cocktails but that's about it I think nothing else is coming to mind first thing you're supposed to look at is the color and I would say this is like a pretty I went to art school for four years and I'm still not great at describing colors so I'm gonna go ahead and call this something between a honey and an amber color it's a very pretty color. I always think bourbon is so pretty. And I'm just gonna give her a little smell. <laughs> Definitely smells like bourbon. There is definitely a strong hint of sweetness in here. I would say it's vanilla. Is that right? I don't know how people describe like the wood that they can taste. I don't know how you become the type of person who can identify wood flavors. It sounds very fancy. Does it say on the bottle what I'm supposed to be smelling in here? White oak. <laughs> That's funny. I've stuck my nose in this glass long enough. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a taste. So what I've read you're supposed to do is just take a very small, delicate little sip, really let it float around on the tongue and let the flavors just kind of glide across your palate. And then there's something called the Kentucky Chew, which is just a little like, something that I actually just do all the time on my own and it annoys a lot of people because of the little clicky sound that it makes. But um, that's enough talking, it's time to taste. A very small, delicate little sip. I definitely say it like has a little bit of a, um, like some sort of spice to it. I definitely taste that sweetness when I first take a sip and it's sort of hanging out at the front of my mouth. Then when I got to like that part of my tongue, definitely got a taste of the woody um, white oak. Appreciate the little fangirl moment there. I don't really have any other thoughts. I am very much a 22 year old girl who bought this bourbon because the two guys on my favorite TV show made it. And if you're a whiskey connoisseur who would like to bully me for that, go ahead, because it will drive up my engagement rate on YouTube. It doesn't. I wouldn't say it burns a lot. I think I just got a whiff of either caramel or hazelnut. I very much group those two flavors and smells together because they're both something that I really like in my coffee. <laughs> Definitely caramel. Really not bad. I'm typically not someone to drink alcohol straight. It just doesn't really sit that well with me and I do have a hard time stalling it. A lot of times there's a major burn to it and I make a little bit of a face when I do it. This is definitely easier to drink straight than Maker's Mark. Very much make faces when I drink Maker's Mark straight. There is definitely a little bit of a burn to it on the tongue for me, but I'm not a very experienced bourbon drinker and I'm guessing it would be a lot smoother for someone who is 
used to drinking straight bourbon whiskey all of the time. I would say that that is more than enough of that and now it is cocktail time. So what I have here is a berry bourbon black tea or a triple B tea. What I did is I brewed a nice big pitcher of black tea. I just used Lipton tea bags because that's what I have on hand, but I'm sure this would be even tastier with some nice loose leaf black tea. You could even get fun and throw some herbs in there while you're brewing it. Let that tea hang out in the fridge and get nice and cool because it is heating up here very quickly. And then I made my strawberry simple syrup so I mixed one part water one part sugar to one part of strawberries I let that sugar really simmer in the pot and get nice and dissolved and once it was dissolved tossed in my strawberries and let it simmer for I'd say maybe 15 minutes to 20 minutes if you're doing a larger batch you're gonna want to let it simmer for a little bit longer and once it got like nice and thick and that really pretty red color I poured that into a little cup and let that cool down in the fridge as well then to mix this all up I did about one cup of black tea about half a cup of our good old brothers bond bourbon right here and then a quarter cup or half of the quantity of the syrup that I made and I shook that all up in a shaker with some ice to make it get really nice and cool. Poured it over ice into this little cup and finished it off with a squeeze of lemon. I love all of my cocktails to have some sort of acid component to it. I just really think it helps balance out the alcohol flavor and makes it very easy to drink for me personally. And I garnished it with a little strawberry. I think this would also be really great with like if you have some fresh mint leaves or even some fresh basil mixed in there would be delicious. It's very nice and refreshing. I think bourbon and tea mix very well together. It always makes for a nice, pleasant drink. And the berry flavors in here are so great. They blend so nicely with the drink. I have actually also tried this with blueberry. I made a blueberry basil syrup and mixed that with the tea and it's equally as delicious, mixes so well. You could even get really fancy and make a simple syrup that has multiple berry flavors in it. But this is very nice and refreshing. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's nice and um, fruity, <laughs> and I think it's perfect for summer. I will definitely be drinking this all summer long if I can get my hands on another bottle of this stuff, because as you can see, the reserves are already running low. <laughs> so that's all I really have for today's video. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you are more of a bourbon connoisseur than I am, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this bourbon if you've tried it, or if you've made any fun cocktails with it, definitely let me know down below. We love to make very fun and sometimes unique cocktails in my apartment and I'm always looking to try new things. And a huge congratulations to Ian and Paul for getting this launched and launched successfully. I think it is great. It's so special. I can't think of something better to represent the show The Hand Bourbon and the name is Great Brothers Bond. I mean everyone can see that the friendship between Ian and Paul is great and I think that's probably one of the reasons why The Vampire Diaries was so special is because everyone on the set got along so nicely and had a blast making it. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you had fun. I hope this was a little bit informative or a little bit helpful or at least a little bit funny and entertaining. <laughs> and that is it for today. I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye, guys.